Quoted here this morning with the 2018 Hoyt Hyperforce. Yes, it's 2024 and I'm doing a review on a 2018 bow, but not everybody's going to go out and buy a new bow. And sometimes you're looking online and you're like, oh man, that's from 2017, 16, 18, 19, 20. Uh, how good are these bows? You're looking for reliability. So I'm the guy who's going to tell you something about it. Now, I have shot a Hoyt Hyperforce before back in 2018 when they first come out. Honestly, I have no idea. I can barely remember uh, what was going on with them. Uh, some of the noticings I'm seeing right now that I really like is they have draw stops on the bottom cam. Sorry, cable stops. Cable stops on the bottom cam and the top cam. Love it when there's dual stops. I feel like it's a firmer back wall, so I'm going to expect to see that. Uh, the other thing about these, they do have a rotating mod. Interesting about cam, um, they've changed their series up a little bit uh, in the most recent years, but each cam is going to get you a certain draw range. This happens to be the ZT3 cam, which is going to get you 27 to 30 inches. But there's a ZT1, 2, and also a 4. And the 4 can get you up to 31 and a half inches, which is pretty incredible. Uh, you can change the limbs on these so that you can get from 40 pound draw weight all the way up to 80 pound draw weight. I think that's pretty cool. Although it is kind of a pain in the butt that you have to change the limbs to do that. These are 60 to 70 pound limbs. It's rated at 340 feet a second, which I think is pretty fast. Um, some of that is probably due to the 32 inch ATA in combination with a six inch brace height. Now on the Hoyt bows, this is kind of weird, but the roller guard is like hooked right to the riser here. I mean, there's barely any distance between, but that's because of Hoyt's design on the riser and I've never quite understood it. And um, I think it looks cool, but at the same time, if you're ever trying to hook up a QAD or something with a rip cord that's tying into the bus cable, um, you're always dealing with it rubbing against this. Um, I've seen some excessive wear on Hoyt's on the, on the shelf, but I haven't seen any on this one. This actually is a pretty immaculate bow right now. Uh, I'm going to adjust it to my draw length, and uh, I will do that by just checking out the the code down here. Usually I'm all the way up, so I'm going to have to put it on letter G to get 30 inches, and it's still a little stubby for me. I'm usually 31, um, but I don't want to change the cams because I'm going to sell this. So I'm going to change it to G, which is only going to take some um, star bits here on the module. You just have to loosen them, loosen them slide them on, tighten them. Um, when I'm doing that, I'm going to also make sure I'm moving the draw stops on the cables to letter G as well. Otherwise, it's going to be messed up. It's just going to take a T15 star bit, and there's two screws on the module. Loosen. Don't take them all the way out if you don't have to. Slide the mod. Drop it into the G spot. Mm, that sounded interesting. And then tighten them down, top and bottom. You know you're going crazy when little bears start appearing on your shoulder. Oh, that's Big Jim. Big Jim's gonna help us out today. And uh, he's a bigger target. When I'm first shooting the bow, I found that Big Jim is definitely a better backstop than a little target. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just try and get first impressions on this bow, how it feels, how it shoots, vibration, stuff like that. I've already ran you through with the specs, so I won't bore you with that. Um, everything's looking good on this bow. He's got the regular D loop. Um, I can anticipate that the peep is not going to line up. Already can tell that it's probably going to be a little twisted. It's got the Bomar nose button, which I don't like. I feel like either my nose is sensitive or something, but it's pokey on my nose. Uh, let's go for draw cycle first here. I don't remember it being that good. Wow. That actually, see the Bomar nose button is like hurting me, bro. Now I do have a whisker biscuit on here, so it's not gonna be perfect. I do have a stabilizer, which I should take off because I wanna feel the vibrations in the bow. I definitely shot a little to the right, maybe even low. Not, not that that matters for this, but um, what I felt so far was jumpiness in the bow. Um, decent hand shock right up front. That kind of surprised me. It was a little more than I anticipated, but yet at the same time, the draw cycle was super duper smooth, like I thought was going to happen. The back wall was amazing. It's super solid. Uh, a little stubby for me, but I'm 31 inches, so I can't really tell you if this measures a little shorter or a little longer than the actual draw lengths. Um, 70 pounds, 
Um, I will have to crank this all the way down to get the full 70. Right now, um, there's a couple threads out. So maybe this is down to like 65. Hmm. Yeah, I do like the way that feels. It draws really easy. Definitely shooting to the right. So we're going to adjust that. Um, I don't feel, and again, I just took the stabilizer off. I don't feel a vibration ringing through this riser. What I feel is just some shock right up front. And for a six inch brace height 32 ATA, that's impressive. Just crank the limbs down. So now we're at 70 pounds and draw it back. So far it's been drawn really smooth and easy. Wow. That is really nice. All right, we're a little more accurate now. I'm happy with that. Uh, let's put her through the chronograph and see if it really can shoot uh, what it says it can shoot. I'm gonna say though, right up front, that these zeros are 30 inch in length and they are 250 spine. And uh, I don't know if it says the GPI on here or not, but uh, they've got brass inserts, 100 grain tips, and uh, they're 560 grain arrows. So I'm not expecting this 300. I'm not expecting to see 340 feet a second, but high 270s is what I'm hoping for. All right, Big Jim's helping us out through the chronograph. Uh, I would think anything over 274, 275 feet a second is going to be really good. Two hundred seventy-six point three on that one. That was pretty good. I'm into it. That is competitive with all the 2024 bows I've shot. I think I shot a. Uh, there was one man. I can't remember what it was, but I think I had 284. Two seventy-six point eight. It's pretty consistent. What I like to do next is some consistency shots. It's not like I'm going to have my sight zeroed in perfectly, um, but I'm looking for like what type of grouping I'm going to get. Again, I have a whisker biscuit on this. It's not actually a whisker biscuit that I really like. Um, so that obvious key, obviously could throw a wrench in my little test here. Uh, but at the moment, honestly, uh, this bow is probably going to sell tomorrow and I just didn't have the time. All right, we're going with the consistency shots. That shoe's pretty good. Well, I'd say that's fairly consistent right there. Not too bad. Hyperforce right now is shooting really well for me. Super surprised. I thought 2018, from what I remember, um, it didn't compare well to the other 2018 bows. But as I'm shooting it now, and I'm remembering what the most recent bows I've shot are, a bunch of 2024 bows, um, this is really good. I like the back wall, especially. It's got my type of valley. Um, it jumped on me one time, but otherwise it holds pretty steady. Uh, it doesn't really have that jumpy feel to it normally. Uh, I think it was my fault. I relaxed too much. Um, I had a whisker biscuit on it, so that was a little unfair. Uh, there's very little vibration. There's a little jump in the hand right off the bat. Uh, otherwise, uh, it shoots consistent, shoots fast, um, and I like the feel of it. So quite honestly, it's, you know, and it's even got a good ATA. I like right around the 32, 33 um, spot. That seems to be good. 34 starts getting a little long for me, although I do have a 34 right now. Uh, so it's time for the Bodad rating. I'm going to give this a Bodad rating of 9.4. Oh, I don't know if I've ever given that to a 2018 before. So uh, I'm pretty impressed with this right now. And uh, go out, try a used bow. Uh, you can take my word for it, but... Uh, I'd recommend getting out there and getting your hands on it. If you can't get your hands on it, take my word for it. It's a good bow. This is Bow Dad. I'm out.